Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori in Wellington. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, and here's Mr. Alex. Say hi, baby. They know I'm talking to myself, so they're gonna sit here in front of me. Okay, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. For me, it is Tuesday before Christmas. For you, it's Tuesday after Christmas. So, I have some things to show you, but I needed to do this video because a couple things are gonna be gifts. Oh, my glasses, sorry for the glare. I'm using a ring light for the first time so I can video at night. So let's see how this works. Hi, buddy. All right, we have all kinds of stuff and some new finds that I'm super excited about. Now, some of this stuff I know is not new, new, but it is new to me at my store. I'm just moving stuff around. So today I went to a town about 25 minutes from me. I had to pick some stuff up for Christmas and I thought I'm gonna hit the Dollar Tree and I got some good stuff. So let's get going. What I did find there is this bag and it, see how it does? It hooks on to a dog leash. On this side, you put your pooper bags in here and it ha they have like zippers. And then on this side of the leash, you can put like your keys or whatever you would need in there. And it has the reflector on it. And I will assume right here might hold an extra poop bag. Maybe in here you put your poop bags. I don't know. And so it's like a little bag for your leash. Not a Dollar Tree find. Hi. So I grabbed two of them. And one of them is going to be a gift for my brother because he has a dog. And he uses this. It's for the medium large, but this is a type of leash she uses for Jody. So I grabbed that. I found two more of these, and I'm also gifting these this year. Not wrapped under the tree, but more like, hey, family, this is yours for your household, and all my different households will get one. Um, I need to figure out battery situation, but I wanted everybody to have one of these. And I'm going to tell you, I got them at the Dollar Tree, and I looked online. And they're selling anywhere from $14 to $19.99 at all different stores. The same exact device. So if you see this at your Dollar Tree, I would grab it. It cleans. And so the UV light sanitizes the 99.9% .9 of harmful germs and bacteria. So it will kill coronavirus on fabric, masks, toys, electronics, cars, shipping boxes, and doorknobs. So things that you can't readily wipe down, especially like fabric surfaces and stuff. Cars, this is gonna be great for cars. So anyway, I grabbed two more, that's all. You know, I didn't wanna be greedy, but I wanted each of my households to have one. So I grabbed those. Hi, buddy. I, I got some really exciting zip top bags. Nobody cares. Um, I found a face shield. Now, I don't need a face shield, but one of my brothers works um, where I used to work. I mean, I still work for the Schottenstein Center where they play sports, but I don't work now because it's not open except for very select uh, for games, for the basketball games, but he does go in. So I thought if he doesn't have one of these and it just has the elastic that goes behind your head and it protects your face. And it was a dollar and he has some, you know, underlying health issues. So him getting the Rona isn't gonna be a good idea. So I grabbed that for him. I showed this, uh, I think the other day, but look what I found. Um, it's not Easter friends, but this is Peeps brand. It is so soft and plush and I love it. So I grabbed two, one for me and one for Sarah's dog Luna for her Easter basket. My boys don't need it. You don't need that. That's not for you, sir. That's not for you. Um, I found this and it's intriguing. It's extra sticky. I have them for my clothing that I use, but both cats love to rub up against my curtains. So I'm hoping this will help with the cat fur situation. We'll see. If not, I need to go to Ikea and they have some really good ones, but this one says extra sticky. And with the cat fur, that's always handy, right? Thank you. Um, if you have any little ones in your life, 
Now this would make a great set stocking stuffer, but if we're thinking about Easter already, these are like me and my BFF. So each of them comes with a little bracelet. You cut it apart and you give one to one child, one to another, or you give both of them to one child, they cut it and give one to their best friend, but they're matching like french fries and hamburger, or, you know, whatever. So this would be super cute in an Easter basket because apparently we're all about Easter right now. I don't know. I found stocking stuffers. Also, I have not seen these and I have not seen anybody else hauling these, but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. It just means it's the first time I'm seeing this, but it is a make your own bath bomb kit. And it's an Avengers one. So you get a mold and it says you have, makes two bath bombs, contains everything you need. So yeah, and this is put out by Marvel, not Dollar Tree brand. So I grabbed two of them. Um, stocking gifts, little closet gifts. I'm always, you know, seeing little people. Plus, I think this would just be fun to do. Um, and who doesn't like a good bath bomb, right? And nobody says you have to use the essential oils that come in here. You could totally use um, your own essential oil to make it smell however you would like. How to take my thumbnail. I found a book that I'm kind of excited about. I need to talk to Sarah. Um, she's my English teacher niece. And I don't know if we've read this. I know I haven't read this series, but I'm not sure if she did. And it's called Shadow Scale by Rachel Hartman. Refreshing and exciting. Um, my favorite size print. I'm not going to lie because I'm blind. Now it says there's more. So this might be like a second book in the series. I'm going to have to look and see. And I believe this might be young adult, but... Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, I love it when I can find books. I just finished uh, one book, two books, two books that I wanted to get done before I started this third, <laughs> third book that I have, but I want to read. I read a lot of paranormal romance, um, J.R. Ward, vampire, nothing about reality, trust me. All right, I grabbed for New Year's or whatever. Um, 2021 balloons to hang up. These aren't giant, but they are really fun. And I like them too. That I believe they have a hanger at the top. If not, I can just glue something on it. So I'm going to hang these on my wall maybe to celebrate New Year's with the cats. You know, because that's how we roll around here. Um, I found these little purses. I don't need a bunch of these things. However, I like the size of this one for my purse um, to keep like allergy medicine, eye drops, band-aids, just little toiletry type things in my purse that I have can have quick access to. And it says, no drama llama. And it's cute and it's decent quality. I mean, it's plastic, but that's actually perfect for the type of things that I'll keep in it, which, you know, it's just little bitty bobby thingies that get lost at the bottom of my purse. So I like to have a little something. So that's for me. I have three packages of these. I'll just show you one, but I got the wet and wild two pack of nail polish, the blue, and then the, um, this is like a pink sparkly glitter. I think Valentine's day. I'm just trying to get the glitter up there. So pretty two pack. I've used this nail polish before. It is not bad. Um, I'm gifting these, but they're, so these are not for me, but I'm actually on the hunt for navy blue nail polish in matte. And I think I have to go on Amazon to find that. But I grabbed two, uh, three of those just to take to somebody who's going to gift them. So those aren't for me. Um, I found this flowerbeauty.com. This, and I've seen this at my store for a little bit, but I did not realize that this is Drew Barrymore's company her beauty line. This is for me, so we're gonna open it. Maybe we'll put it on and see. This is matte velvet finish. What is this color? Barry Moore VC3. And again, this is in the same color family that I typically like. And, oops, sorry, buddy. It's a pencil, like a crayon. Oh. Now I'm a beauty guru. Who knew? Hmm. 
I like that color a lot. It's in my family of like the, the mauves. And mm, it feels really nice too. They had all different colors, but I liked, again, the darker, but it's Flower Beauty is what it's called. Feels good. We'll keep it. I came across these no nourishing daily scalp tonic with organic quinoa and pea sprout thicker fuller hair 100 vegan i don't know the brand it just says made it's made in the usa and it's cruelty free and i have pretty thin hair not fine hair my hair itself is thick but i have fine hair so i'm gonna try this so i grabbed two um i believe you just uh, let's see. Shake well before use. Apply at least once a day onto your damp or dry hair. Spray directly onto the scalp and massage it in. So we're good. I'm going to try it. I grabbed two. Worst case, it doesn't help. Best case, it gives me a little more volume up top because you know I use a lot of product to get my hair to stick up like this. I picked up one more of this six pack of the facial moisturizing pa uh, masks. Um, what is really funny is they had two of them. This one said hydrating and then the other one said, oh, it, they were both the same, but they had a six pack and like a three pack and they were the exact same ingredients and everything. And it just says anti-aging helps firm and hydrate anti-aging. Oh, that's in Spanish. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. Anyway, it's a moisture mask. So I grabbed another pack because I think six for a dollar is a fantastic deal. And it's winter. Right? So everybody has the dry skin. Well, not everybody because if you don't have dry skin, then you don't. I grabbed two of these frames. I like the texture in them. Faux leather. They're actually from my brothers, so I'm not spending a lot of money, and I'm going to show you why in a second. But what I will do is put their pictures in it, the picture, and then I will hot glue so it stays. Because, you know, sometimes you don't. Uh, my brother and I, we're just like jokers, and we like to give gag gifts to each other. There are real gifts under this tree. However, my brothers are getting this. Uh, the two of them that live here, that is. So... A couple years ago, I gave my brother for his birthday, my oldest brother, a picture of me holding a Dunkin' Donuts coffee in a frame and everything. For his... <laughs> and then I gave him a gift card. And then the next year, he gave my niece, his daughter, a blanket, like a full blanket with his life-size picture on it. And I got a button pin with his face on it. So this year, they're getting from me... <laughs> An 8x10 collage, three pictures of me, the cats, and my niece's dog. <laughs> so I grabbed two of them, one for each brother. I made this at CVS for $4.99. That's a perfect price point, I think, for a gag gift. And I know both of them. It'll probably end up in their house. But I grabbed two of those, so I need to frame them and get them wrapped. Also, potentially, there might be a pillowcase involved that says I have the best sister ever. Um, we'll see on that if I can get it made but this is done so I grabbed two frames because I needed those for that um I got some more exciting stuff aluminum foil or aluminium as they say everywhere but here aluminium some aluminum foil I found one more more of these is there something in that I don't know I found one more of these um I really liked them last the last one that I had that I cut apart. And so I think this is perfect. I might even put like the boys on it. I don't know, the cats, so we'll see. For a dollar, and I just, it was just laying on a shelf. I'm like, I'll use that next year. So this will just get put away because you never know what they're gonna come out with. And I really liked these. So I grabbed that. Oh, let me put that over here. Brown sugar, um, not that I eat it, but a family tradition, I make homemade cinnamon rolls for breakfast for my family. So, I need a brown sugar. I need to do that tomorrow. And to go in that vein, I have two of these trays. Um, and what I will do is put probably, I will cook them to, in two trays. These are 
very cheap. I will put the cinnamon rolls in here and bake them, cover them with frosting and then the foil and then take it when I go to my nieces. And then my brothers, I may send home because they're coming here Thursday. I'll make these tomorrow or Thursday morning so I can send some home. Um, they're coming on Thursday. So I grabbed some paper plates and I got matching napkins. So they're coming. We've all been kind of laying low. So it'll be myself, my niece, her dad, my oldest brother, my other brother, and my oldest brother's wife, Ellen, are coming on Christmas Eve day. I'm literally ordering them their favorite pizza. I'm not, we just don't need to go all fussy. There's a pizza place that's only over here and they love it. So I'm getting pizza for them. I'll have whatever and I needed some paper I'll have like you know other food I'll take a vlog of it and show you but I'm cutting up pizza like on an appetizer tray and then I'll have meats and cheese and things like that as well but I needed some paper plates that were festive so I grabbed those oh I think we're getting down to it I'm getting good at this whole thing I picked up Oh, some of those because I love them and I want to put them on my meat and cheese tray because they're festive looking, right? Um, these are food picks, if you don't know. You can do skewers with these, like meat, cheese, meat, cheese, meat, cheese, which I might do and put out on a tray. Or you could just stick them and people can grab them. So we'll see. I found this two notepad set. Do I need more notepads? Absolutely not. But did I need this one? Absolutely. It says be mermazing and it's two pads. So there's this little pad here with the little mermaid tail and then a list pad. And I'm forever making lists. I do enjoy that there's no magnet on the back. So it'll be easier to have on my desk where I make my lists, you know, for video ideas, stuff like that. Now I got two different things in the party section. These are party poppers. They are the silver and gold, I believe. Yes. Now, these are for a party that we're having a virtual party, but I'm going to be making some cut stickers to put over it that says something on them. So I grabbed enough for six of those to get delivered in the, back, in the party boxes that we're making. They also had them with colored confetti, but so I'm not going to rip off the packaging. I'm just going to put a sticker over because my Cricut does print and cut. And then the same thing with this one, which I love this one. This is for me. So probably New Year's for the party I'm not having, but I've never seen this particular party popper at the Dollar Tree and I thought it was fun. It comes in silver and gold and then this black with the gold. So I thought it would be fun. And again, I could put my own label on it over this label or take this label off and put my own label on it. So I grabbed those and that stuff needs to be done before Christmas because I'm taking it to my nieces and her mom is taking it to Cleveland because it's her thing. And then the last thing I found, OMG, I know this is brand new. I have never seen this before. It is mermaid sequins fabric. Let me take it out of this plastic, guys. Because this is crazy. I do not know what I'm going to do with it. It only came. It's the fabric. that, And then you. Hold on. I got to lay it down to do it. It's the mermaid fabric. The, it's holographic. How fun is this? But it's fabric. Now I did cut some. So I know it's cuttable. I cut some that was made into a an ornament or something. Oh, one of those pillows. I'm just putting it back together. Um, and you can cut it and glue it and all of that. But let's look. I mean, do I need to make a purse out of this? Because I feel like I might. I grabbed two pieces of it. I was hoping they had maybe different colors, but they don't. But it's fun. Isn't that fun? So, yeah, I'd never seen it before. The lady at the cash register was like, where did that come from? I said, it came from a box in the craft section. So I'm hoping they come out with some different colors. But for now, we have holographic rainbow. All right, guys. So that is everything. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Because like I said, you'll see this after Christmas. I'm putting it back in his bag. 
because I don't have anything to do with it. She asked me, the lady at the register said, what, what are you going to do with that? I said, I have no idea, but I need this in my life. Because you know when this gets out there, you'll never see it once, you know, once everybody kind of catches wind. And we start seeing videos of people using it in one craft or another. So I grabbed two, two sheets of it. So I would have enough. All right, that is everything. I hope you enjoy, like I said, and you have a very, or you had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year because New Year's is coming up here in just a couple of days. All right, everybody, have a good one. Bye.